Last year it was sealed. All right, so if we're not taking 13, are we taking 14? We want to, we want to see if we can can't. We so can you couldn't get even get in 13 first. last year. Yeah. So if we can't get 13, then 10? The only door that I know you can get in from is the one on this end. That's but it, it only leads into a hallway. All right, you can go over here if you want. So oh, this is what you explained to me and Mason. Yeah. But if we can get in there, it'll be good for us to sweep for okay. intel because we're okay. going to be the Shut only up. squad over there. What if we can't get in there, like I asked three times? Then we move on. All right, so we'll the have a machine gun team set up on the road to cover you guys going up into the second story from the side of building 14. Okay. So, so is that the fence right there? Yeah. So we'll set up a machine gun nest here or up against the building right here to cover people from coming in behind you. You guys will go into the top of the building and hopefully Gary's team will come in from the bottom of the building and How clear many breachers it. do I have? Breachers? Four. Just four? four. Yeah, it's yeah. him, him, and you. That's right. Or with your team. So but hopefully you'll have nine other them? people. Can yeah. I steal them? You can if they're going to follow I, you. I need more than four people. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, whoever you run into, if you want to take them, you take them. I don't right. care about that. Because, I mean, uh, whose phone is this? Mine. All right. Uh, building 14 is very simple to get done. Uh, we'll go from the front. From the fr front for us, uh, it's going to be two-man breaching team. Uh, depends. Where's their CPF? Their CP is on the far end. All right, so we shouldn't run, really run into any resistance, so we'll just do something basic. Two men, first entry team, uh, clear it out. Uh, I'll follow behind. We'll have an, another one right behind me. I'm just going to go, if there's a door, first person hits the door, clears it out, we keep moving forward. That's just how it, basically it's going to work. they got a closer run than we do, too. So. Yeah, and you know that they're going to send some sprint guys out there. Yeah, so if we, I mean, we're not going to initially run into this resistance when we, uh, move in so we're not going to worry about the whole you know frag first wait clear you know um, when we do run into resistance the building that we know there's going to be hostile activity in frag's going to go off you know, and two people same thing i'm going to try to get another two people you guys keep moving forward if there's doors first person that comes through the door clears second person keeps moving all right if there is again heavy resistance what i want to try to do if i have all nine people plus you guys four um, I'm gonna have two of them go first, hug the left, one person, two people hug the right, and if there's a door, two people can go in at a time instead of just one person. But it's all depending on how many numbers we have. So if we have enough numbers, we'll go that route. I mean, it's very simple, it's just fast pace, clear, 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 you know. Uh, is there any questions about it? Now, are we supposed to hold 14? Or are we searching for intel and then going back? Or we're going to have to do a mix. We're going to be holding it. We're going to search for intel. If we find something, we call it in and uh, we go from there. Um, if they want us after that, it's just going to be Where requesting the orders. Are, the stairs are going to be at the bottom of the T right here. Okay, so it's be actually have to come over here. Yeah. If you get killed and Jago can't get to you, we're going to set up a rally point at the corner of building 13 back here that's away from their line of fire. So if you die, and you don't know where we've gone, we're probably still operating somewhere in this area. So you're gonna hang out right here behind building 13. And we'll send somebody to come back and get you once we've broken engagement. Either that, or we'll call whoever is with your team on the radio, and we'll have taken building 14, and we'll meet up in building 14. 14. We're equidistant from that building, okay. which is why it's gonna be, I wanna come in from the top and not from the bottom, because if we come in from That's the bottom. Do they have stairs on yeah. their okay. side too? No, the only, stick, the only second story entrance is on the So on if our I can side. get, okay. rooftops. They, they shouldn't be able to. No, there's, not, there's not no rooftop point. access on that building. And the good news is, is that the stairs are coming from our direction. So they okay. will have to come around to our side to go up the stairs, because those are the stairs that we died at last year. Okay, Sunday. so um, if, not, since that's two story, us four will take top floor, they'll take the bottom floor. And I'll go over like the techniques and then while they're going through we're covering them since there's not as much as us and I don't really want to step on his toes too much. You know, I don't, you know, it's going to be too much of an asshole. Now are they some Garcia's crew? Are they supposed to be going there with us too? They should be with us. Our general okay. orders for our squad is supposed to be building 14. Okay. Generally. Okay. But I don't know if they're just going to totally blow through building 13 or if they're going to be freaking weirdos and they're going to hang out in building 13 and stay there for the entire day. I mean, us personally, um, once once the building's secure and I got everyone and we're good on ammo, just keep, we're just going to keep going. We're going to keep searching for intel. That's just how the game's going to need to work. Now, usually, what does intel usually look like? Or intel is going to be like in a briefcase. It's going to be like one of those box with the uh, hard cases, hard hard cases hard anything cases. like that. Um, if it looks like it's important, we call it in, ask for verification. If it is it, then we take okay, it. So technically you don't touch it until it's verified. Yeah. Okay. It can be on a person too, right? Yes. Yes. yes.
If you find anybody that's them. dead, yeah, they can use claymores, though. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, I don't. They really... shouldn't have time to set up any claymores yeah. by the, the time we. The get enemy here. team will not have time to set up until we get further to them. Then we'll work on that. I mean, that's going to be easy. We don't want to mess if, around with the next building because that's so close to their respawn that we probably don't want to mess with that. If you're carrying a radio, just turn the volume up loud enough that. You can hear it, not so loud that it gives your position away. That's um, if you're room clearing. Um, I was just going to leave mine off until. If you're room, yeah, clearing, if you're room clearing with me, um, your radio's your radio's going to be off. Mine will probably be on like really really low, just in case I need to like get information out. But there's us room clearing. That's why I want to we'll, have well, if we orders. if we get in contact, we're going to be yelling at each other anyways. That's how it's going to be. Um, but if we're clearing, just radio silence. Okay, so this is all for the initial push, but as far as operating together, you know, for the rest of the op. Operating together, it's just going to be the same way. If we come up to the building, we clear it. Once we clear it, we can get the MG team in, and we can start setting up perimeters. It'll depend okay. on whether Gary works with us or not. If he doesn't work with us, then we're probably going to be running defensive stuff because he doesn't have the manpower to clear an entire building with four people. Yeah. So if Gary thing. works with us, we could probably even push up one more building. Or if we get redeployed to the other side of the map, we'll do the same thing. So from 10.30 to the third, 3.30 is the first thing. Yeah. Now, once we take a lunch break and start the next one, does it like everything reset? I don't know how they're going to do it, but that's how it happened it, last year. Okay, so I assume they're probably going to do it. It didn't happen last year. Yeah, it, it basically the is day. the next day, but and everything just started over. Okay, well, I mean, I'm sure they'll go over that in the briefing yeah. Yeah. at 7. So it's right. like, you know, go back to the same we spot you were. It's like, yeah. um, for yeah. our yeah. team briefing, green team uh, squad. Barrett's That's one. at 7. Yeah. Yeah. So if you die, just rally back up at the previous building that we control, and we'll come back and get you. Six if we end up taking control of building 14, we're going to hold down that building for probably a good hour and a half, because we're going to need that building both for pushes in that direction from our entire team, and once we have that intel, last year we found intel on building 10 and it took Pops about two hours for him to even get it open. So we're going to have to get, make sure that that building is locked the fuck down. Um, so do, do we know where he is? He was sitting over there eating. I don't know where he is now. Oh, Pops is here? No, 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 no. Oh. Gary? Gary. Because, I mean, I'll, I'll talk to him. If we control the building, we have enough machine gun teams to cover every single entrance that they can come in from. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's the point. I mean, he just has to work. Really no That's going to be taking the building that we need him for. And really, I mean, we just need him for everything else. Yeah. I mean, it's just, just comes down to, you know, experience. I just, it's hard to clear a building with four people. It's I damn know. near impossible. Yeah. Especially if they're already in there, too. Yeah. And we're expecting that his guys are going to be militia grade as far as their experience. Yeah, if they don't have any experience, they really should just be following under us. Because, I mean, we've done ops already. Yeah. And we know the area. So what's our minimum engagement since LMG? That's only 60. That's why. 60 feet. And to be honest, we probably won't have to worry about that. Don't engage building uh, from inside the building to inside the building. We can go from out to in and in to out, but not. we can't. Basically, we're not going to be in buildings unless they're already secured by our region. Yeah, because you can only use a pistol. Yeah. yeah. And I noticed they said that even riflemen, basic riflemen, if you fire from the first floor, you have to have your break barrel break. out. Yeah. yeah. yeah first floor, second floor doesn't matter. Second floor yeah. doesn't matter. And if we run into the fox tank and we don't have a charge, we scatter. Try and stick in two-man teams. You don't want to be all by yourself. But we don't want to be any type of clump at all because they have a main cannon on that thing. Is that the same with the helicopter? Ordinarily it would be. The helicopter be. last year wasn't extremely effective. You can still get killed by it, but as long as you're behind some form of cover, it's... It's nigh impossible it's really, for them to hit you. Really inaccurate. Um, yeah. They'll shoot yeah. at you, but you because of the water rotor wash, basically, it yeah. just goes everywhere. Alrighty. So, so if you do get hit, yeah. I mean, lucky for them. I gotta still go do a briefing. I think I got hit once. Right, do you want to do that? Bad luck. Yeah. We'll talk to you more about it later. Okay. Right? Well, there's one at seven, right? There's one at seven. That's, That's what our, our meeting, meeting is. Yeah. So you'll probably we'll probably just go to the meeting. You should go. You should go to the safety briefing instead of yeah. our meeting, and we'll just. I was saying that we can just because yeah. at least if you go to that one, you can play. But if you go to ours and not the safety briefing, then you can't play. Yeah, safety oh, briefing's a little bit more yeah. up there. Um, is there it any questions like room clearing, like? need to go over anything like how I kind of want to do as it. As far as this squad is concerned, we do not have a limited fire zone on the black team. We will engage them as if they were tan because we're not going to get two miles out and then get wiped out and have to somehow cast it back our guys back to our CP. Yeah, there's going to be other guys out there in all black that are going to yeah. be like acting and stuff. But they're, um, 
They're a they're third bad. neutral yeah. faction, yeah. or not neutral. So they don't have, you guys stuff. don't have so any they, uh, Neo Fang for you? No. no, they oh, no they're probably going to mess with us. Yeah. 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 Well, they'll just be shooting at us. Yeah. Yeah. So they're going to have a lot of yeah. equipment, though. What's the rules so. of engagement for that? We kill them. You kill them. They're going to act out yeah. their fires. Don't worry about what our command says because they're trying to pull yeah, some Afghanistan shit, which means that if they're not shooting at you, you can't fire back. Right, right. So we're just going to shoot at because we know they're going to shoot at us. Because they're out there to mess with both sides. Yeah, so. and during the briefing they said they're they're, they're going to be like they're gonna be most there, likely they're hostile. Yeah. So they're not going to be friendly. So if you do encounter them, take them out. When we're moving around, it doesn't sound like we have a lot of vehicles. So when we go from Frago to Frago, we're probably going to be operating in either a diamond or wedge formation. When we run into TFR, we want to get into a fire line. Because we're already going to know where they are. It's not like we're going to be fighting a war of maneuver against them. They're going to be in one or two buildings, and all we have to do is kill them all. Because like I said in the safety briefing, they have to be casted back like butt-fuck Egypt away from where they're going to be killed from. So we just have to kill them once and forget about it. So once we find them, we're going to do this, which is form the fire line and start engaging them. Are those both here, or are you both using them? What? Those are both mine. Yeah. Personally, I'd like gonna be the LMGs to... Yeah. Like when you do that, just oh, okay. drop and start That's laying it down, and us yeah. riflemen just keep pushing. You guys all know how to do wedge and diamond formations, right? Yeah. When we're, when, we won't be doing that when we're on the city because we're going to be under fire most of the time. But when we're in travel, we're going to be probably wedge and diamond. Sounds good. Unrelated right. question: Does anyone have double A's? I have them. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I do. Say, I have some but, uh, because I had triple A's, but they're double A's for my. Uh, drop back. I need three to... Let me get my uh, bug so, spray. Come on, we'll get yeah. bug spray. Okay. What's the plan for after this team meeting? Are we going back to our... You guys can hang out with us if you want. We're going to um, make a hamburger. I'm going to cook we'll hamburgers. Uh, I got enough for everyone. So if you're down to chow, I got food. There can never be enough team yeah, building and talking. Huh? No, don't worry about it. It's on me, guys. Okay, this uh, mosquito situation is good. Well, we still have an hour to the other meeting. I got dog and chips for $5. Maybe you should have bought those next one.